bit of a crazy afternoon that unfortunately ends in defeat, but what are your thoughts after that one? Yeah, well, I'm still disappointed in losing the game. Um, and more, moreover, the, the fact that the, the one-man advantage that they had wasn't, in my opinion, why they went on to win the game. It's, we haven't defended in three set pieces. Um, and that, that's, the, that's the result. That's it, 3-0. I mean, I'm, I'm gutted for Jordy because he had a hell of a, hell of a game against uh, Wheelston. Um, and that's, that's the life of a goalkeeper. I'll take it on the chin that we didn't run with a goalkeeper on the bench. That's my decision. But I do think that, you know, at this level and the, the, the game schedule, I think that's only happened. The goalkeeper's been sent off three times in the last two seasons at this level. So, you know, we had to get through the game. We have, we've won one and we've lost one. So it's been a bit of sweet uh, bank holiday. But I still see signs from, good signs from our lot. Um, and I think, they want to put this result behind them and, and come flying against Chesterfield on Saturday. Well, from my point of view, you know, seven minutes at the end of the game there, with 3 0 down, easily have One. pretty much taken their foot off the pedal, but they were still out there, they were still trying oh, yeah. and, and pressing and trying to make a, get a goal. And that's why both sides of the stand over there were still full of the shots fans because I think that they realised every one of the lads sometimes the quality wasn't quite there today I didn't think but the effort the endeavour and they didn't lie down we could easily you know to play over an hour well over an hour with no goalkeeper you know um, I don't think I've ever had three goalkeepers in the same game, same game but how many of them made saves there was nothing to do so I, at half time I genuinely come out because of the way the lads were and what we talked about I was really encouraged and thought we could still, still take something from this game I didn't think you know I thought we were well in it and fair play to Laurent and Kwame for you know having the bottle to put on the yeah. gloves and, and stand there and, and face those shots yeah Kwame sorry Laurent just took over when he said I, I can play and goal I'll go on yeah. brilliant and, and that way we didn't have to make the extra sub we managed to get him out of goal and put Kwame in there and Kwame's probably not 90 minutes match fit yet anyway so Look, I'll take that in as a positive. We had all the strikers on the pitch. We got Ollie Scott on the pitch today for the first time. And I thought he did well. I thought he got on the ball and moved it quickly, sensibly and progressively, which at times I just felt that was the side of the, the game that we missed. And Everybody knows we've got Stu and, and Theo not in bold at the minute. And you do feel them when they're not there. But we saw Tommy Willard come back in and like yeah. you say there, Ollie Scott's getting some minutes. Yeah, so, you yeah. know, that there's there's more of the squad getting minutes and getting into their match fitness, so that's good. It's good. It's important that they do. You know, like young Ethan's had, had minutes, Maxi's played games. So, yeah, I'm really pleased with where we are. Um, I'd like to be better. I'd like to be higher. I'd like to have more points in, in the bag. But we move on to the next game and it's a big one. And, and I expect there'll be a really good crowd at the at the EBB next weekend. Um, and like I said, we've got, to, we've got to treat winning and losing as the as what they are, you know, the, the, the great one day and then it's really low next day. But the, the circumstances today have been really difficult to, uh, to take.